Hi everyone, I know I'm in a different place, I'm in a different setting, but I really want to start this video because I got something, something that I've been waiting to read and I think it will be a great time to do a reading vlog. So I got this, Binding 13 by Chloe Wash. Walsh? I don't know. Oh my god. I'm so bad with surnames. So, by Chloe. <laughs> I feel so rude saying that. And this girl is thick. She is like almost 800 pages. It will probably be the longest book I read this year. Or maybe it will be the next one in the series. But I'm so excited to read it. I finally finished Hamlet by the one and only Shakespeare. Um, so, and I'm starting this one. So I'm so excited and let's go on this journey with me. So I have to do, before I start reading the book, the one and only, I have to do my homework, my math homework, because I, I just need to do my homework before I can start having fun reading sad stories. I think it's a sad story. I don't think it's a, a very happy one, you know? But for that, I have to do my homework. Then we can have some fun. No, not have some fun. Just explore the world of the Binding 13 <laughs> of the Boys of Tom Tommy. Uh, the Tommy series. Um, we can explore that world and find out what is the hype about. Oh my god. Let's start this beast. Okay. Have a good day. Have a good night, you know. I will be reading this for tonight's entertainment. So, you do you. Get some tea, get some, get some, get some food, and let's roll. I'm still reading the first chapter, and I can't believe that these kids were like born in 19, 1989, you can say. Like, I can't believe it. Because this whole book takes place in 2005. And she is 16. So she was born in 1989. 1989. Yeah, 1989. Oh my god. I can't believe it. You can see every single kid. Like, her brothers were born in born in the 90s i just can't believe it like i don't know the timeline just doesn't make sense to me why does it have to be in 2005 not like in these days why do we have to go back that many years what is the point okay so it's the next day it's like 6 30 in the morning you know and i didn't finish the chapter, the first chapter, because I was so tired after yesterday. Because the middle of the week is always just tiring for me because it's the most busiest like days. So now I'm going to read a couple of pages and then I will go to school. I will read a little bit more in school, but I will not be filming that. And then I will talk to you about the book when I get home. So, see you later. <laughs> so, I'm 
back from school and today I had four lessons. You can say two because I had two maths and two biologies. And we just had two biologies this year. Just, just the first one. And I already have two pages of, three pages of homework. What the heck? How does this happen? And I had to go to the library to print the papers that I had to do. And I printed the papers, got them. And when I walked out of the library, I saw that my bus was driving out of my bus stop. And I was like, oh my God. Why did that, that did this happen to me? Because my butt doesn't go freak, frequently, frequent, frequently. Um, so I didn't even wait for it. I just walked home. It took me like 20 minutes, but still, if I would have used the bus, it would have taken me, I don't know, maybe 10. I read some of the book in school. I read like 30 pages and I don't know, I don't know what to say. I got to the part where she got hit by a ball. Um, well, he hit her by, a ball, uh, by the ball he was throwing or something. The writing is so small. It's, it's very small. That's what I don't like about it. But if it were bigger, the book would be even thicker, so... I don't need that. I will take the little, the little uh, letters. I'm going to read for for an hour because I have a lesson, a lesson, a driving lesson, and that's it. I'm just going to read. Okay, so I'm reading right now, and I just can't believe that she's 15. Like. <laughs> What? I don't even remember myself when I was 15 and that was two years ago. Like, I, I, all I remember is that I was thinking that I was who I am right now, but actually I was worst. And I just can't imagine. And he's, he, he will be 18, she will be 16. I don't care about the, the age difference, it doesn't matter. It's just two years, oh my god. But she just seem, seems like such a kid to me, you know? Like 15 year olds are still kids to me. But there is like a big difference between 15 year olds and 16 year olds. Like, maybe um, 16 year olds are just, I don't know, They they are more they they didn't see more in life but they just feel more grown up than 15 year olds 15 year olds to me are still freaking kids freaking kids so okay, i've been reading and i stopped at a part where johnny is talking with his teammates about oh my god what is her name shannon and then I started doing my homework, my biology homework. And what the heck was that? I have to do experiments? Like, girl, not today. Not today. Like, I'm not doing experiments for the first day in class, in biology class. Like, what the heck? Do I really have to do them? I didn't do them. I will probably ask my classmate if she did it. So hopefully she didn't and we will be both together who had, had haven't done it. So I will continue reading because I, I finished my homework. <laughs> I did it. And that's it. That's all I'm, I'm going to do today. Just read. We just freaking, freaking Bible. <laughs> it's thicker than the Bible, I think. Look what my.
my sunglasses did to my nose. Look. What the heck? Unacceptable. I'm finally home and I will make something to eat and then I will go read. And it's finally Friday, so I will have the time to read the book, the one and only. And I know I will not finish it this week, but I will try. I will truly try. I am reading the chapter where Garrett and Johnny are running and Garrett sees uh, Claire walking out of the science building or something and like I want to know more about them. They are so fucking cute. Like get gaspy. Okay. Um editing the video and the whole video I was saying gaspy, not gypsy. His like name that they gave him, like nickname was Gypsy, not Gaspy. I don't know why Gaspy just was stuck in my mind. For me, it was Gatsby. <laughs> Gatsby is just in love with her, he literally said. It was an interaction between the two of them. And he was running and, and he started singing something. And Claire said, I hate you, Garrett Gibson. And then he said, I love you too. I swear to God, Led, uh, that girl drives me crazy. Oh my God, they're so cute. I want to know more about them. I like need their book, like I need Salones and Lucians from the Things We Never Got Over series and their book came out like three days ago but mine will arrive like in a month because it's just how long it takes for me to get a book in Europe so I'm so excited to read their book. Oh, and I started annotating just for the fun of it. I don't know. I didn't really think I was going to annotate, but sometimes your mind changes, your opinions change. So I'm annotating and that's it. I don't know. The book, the book is just for me. Right now, it's so slow. I read a more than a hundred pages and it's going so slowly. And there is so much in our mo monologue that it's too much for me. Like it could be a whole chapter of inner mo monologue. That's too much for me. I need dialogue, you know? I need interaction between characters. I can't just read inner monologues. They give me nothing. Yeah, they give me how you feel about her. But if you're not showing it to her, then what's the point? <laughs> what's the point of inner monologue? So I will continue reading and I will see you. See you later. So, no, I will talk to you later. I can see you right now. You will see me right now, but I will talk to you later. <laughs> Gatsby is the cutest. Like he's, he's the fucking cutest. But at the same time, like, what are you doing? Like, why why aren't you chasing your girl? Like, why aren't you just going after her? You're just flirting with her, but you're doing nothing to get her. You're still sleeping around with other other girls. Like, start taking Claire seriously. Start pursuing her, you know? Like, just said this. Look at her, Johnny. Uh, look at how beautiful that girl is. Christ, it might be the sunshine hair, but I swear she glows. Like, why aren't you pursuing her? Like, start taking things seriously and stop, stop freaking around. Start, start doing something like gaspy. You just need to make your moves. You need to make the right moves. <laughs> I got my apple 
hoop high. It doesn't look amazing. This looks like a mess, but still, I have my milk. I have my apple pie. And I wanted to talk about the book, The One and Only. I am, I read like 100 pages today. Maybe a little less, maybe 80. Um, and um, my thoughts are that I love Claire and Gatsby. Gatsby? Gatsby? I don't know. Garrett. Garrett. His, his real name is Garrett. I just love them. I even started annotating uh, with a different color their moments because they are just the cutest. And I still don't understand why Garrett doesn't take, like, take their relationship seriously. He knows that, he probably knows that she loves him and he knows that he loves her. So why not take it seriously? Like, I'm a little bit like mad about it. I, I, I just want them to get together. Like they know, they probably know they are going to get together. Like Garrett knows he's going to get together together with Claire, but he was he's just like, you know, a frat boy. He, he would, if he was an American, he would be a frat boy. Uh, he just likes hookups, likes messing around, doesn't want to be like in a an in an ex exclusive relationship. But I think he would love to be with Claire. That's the thing. He would love to be with her. So Shannon and and Johnny finally had their second interaction. It was awkward, but in real life, it would be awkward too. So, I don't know. But I just don't understand how she already, like, has this... They, are, they already have this, like, big connection to each other. I just don't understand how. Because Johnny is already obsessed with her. She... She even admitted that she likes him. So, I don't know. They have like this big connection, but they talked just two times. I, I, I don't know. And it's just too much inner monologue. Can we stop? Like, there, the inner monologue, uh, inner monologue started to die down, but still there's so much of it. It's starting to die down, but it's still too much for me. Um, so that's all of my thoughts. Yeah, all of my thoughts. I'm just sad that Sh um, Shannon can't uh, can do like things that she want be wants because of a father. Like she can't go driving with uh, Garrett's car um, with her friends because her father will probably not let her. So that's a little bit sad, but I love her friendship with Claire and I don't know. I'm really, I'm really interested uh, with who uh, Lizzie will end up. I'm interested in that. Like, who is her, the one you can say? Is it from the school? Is it maybe Claire's brother? But Claire's brother has a girlfriend. Katie or what is her name? I don't know. Maybe if he didn't have a girlfriend, I would say him, but he has a girlfriend, so not him. I don't know. Maybe they will start having problems. So that's all my thoughts for today. Probably for today. Or maybe I will have many more. I don't know. I'm very unpredictable. Oh my god. So I've been reading, it's like been, I don't know, four days since I started and I've been reading um, and right now I am in the chapter where Shannon gets, you can say, in a fight with her father and her father almost chokes her and reading this chapter i don't know why but i started crying like just the closeness between um shannon and her brother 
he's such a good brother to her. He takes care of her and uh, he just protects her. And uh, at first, when he comes in um, into the house, uh, he like acts like nothing happened, like he didn't see what's happening, what was happening. But after when Shannon goes to her room, he tells her to go to her room. He and their father have a fight, and after some time, when he's in his room, uh, Shannon comes to his room and um, she sees that he has a towel or a paper towel next to his lip, his bloody lip probably. And it's just so sad that they have this life. But at the same time, I just like, why aren't you calling the police? I want to see them, I want to see them call the police. Because their mother is not going to do anything about it, about this. She is devoted to that man, even if she knows that it's bad for her and her children. It's sad that there are so many kids involved in this. So many kids and another one on the way. So I just read the chapter where they kissed for the, for the first time. And I would have done the same if I was, if I was Shannon. Like literally, if... It was her first kiss and Johnny didn't respond. She kissed him and he didn't respond. He just stood frozen. And if I was her, I would have probably done the same. Like I would have probably just said, no, no talking. And he was like, after she started to say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And uh, Johnny was like, it's okay. It's okay. Let's talk. I would be like, like her, I wouldn't want to talk. I would be like, no, no, I'm, I'm locking myself in the bathroom. That's it. That's my thoughts on the first kiss. I thought there was like an important moment to talk about. So I'll read more, but I'm reading this book so slowly. I'm, I'm bored. I'm getting bored because I think this book could be 400 pages and it would be enough. I just got to the first kiss and it took 550 pages so 60 you can't say 60 60 pages so it's a like it's a horrible slow burn like it's the big big slow burn and i don't think they are going to kiss a lot in this book i think there is a makeout scene um at the end well near the end um but there probably wouldn't be, will not be a lot of action, that type of action in this book. Don't mind my pimple on my nose. I know it's atrocious, but I can't do anything about it. It's the one that you cannot squeeze, squeeze out. And I know squeezing out is bad, but when I have this atrocious thing on my nose, I would squeeze it out if I could, but I can't. That's the thing. So... I'm sorry about my nose, I'm all about my beautiful nose, but we have to deal with what we got. So it's been a couple of days since last time I filmed and I finally finished this book. Oh my God, it took me so long to finish this book. I don't know what, what, what was about it. And I read every day, like a normal amount from 50 to sometimes a hundred pages. And it took me so long to get through this book. I know it's 700, no, almost 800 pages, but still, it took me too long. Too freaking long. And I finally finished, and I'm so happy I finished with this book. This book was good. The ending was very intriguing, like what happened with her dad. And I'm just so, like, sad for them. I understand that they don't want to go to foster care because of what happened to their oldest brother. If you don't know, spoiler, they were once in child care system. Um, and when they were in the child care, um, their oldest brother, I don't remember his name. I don't remember. Don't ask me. <laughs> their oldest brother was raped there. Like a couple of times, not, not like once, but a couple of times. I understood that, but still, 
I, I, I understand that he was brave and Shannon was very scared that the same thing would happen to her. But I don't know. She feels like it's better to stay at home where her father beats her every every day. Just every day for nothing. Um, than to go to childcare. I just don't know if it's... I don't know. I'm not saying that I would choose to go to childcare because it's horrible what happened to him. But like sometimes I feel like it would be nice if they took a chance. A second chance. But still, what do you know what will happen the second time? Maybe she will get raped. Maybe she will. I gave this book four stars. Um, in my opinion, it was too long. It could have been like... 300 pages less. I just thought that there were things that weren't really necessary for us to hear. Uh, the best thing in this book was, I won't lie, Garrett and uh, Claire. They were the best thing. I'm so excited for their book. I don't even care about uh, if I were to get uh, their book right now, I wouldn't even read the second one of uh, Johnny's and Shannon's book. I would just go straight to their book because I'm so intrigued what will happen with them. And like, all I want to say is that Garrett should just get his shit together and go pursue Claire. Like, I, he's acting all flirty, calling her babe, but like, for real, like, just get your shit together. You know she's the one for you. So why aren't you chasing her? I know that he wants her um, to like see it herself that they are the future, like together. But I don't understand. People, like the the other characters are saying that they both don't see that they are in love with each other. But I think maybe Claire doesn't see it because she thinks that Gypsy is just that type of a person who just flirts with everybody but there is a difference be between flirting with her and flirting with other girls for him i think because it's just different you know it's just very different so i think they should get together already like what is that going to happen i know that that there is a book for them happening i think it's called timing 13? Not Timming 13. Um, I think it's called Timming 7 or something. 7 Timming. Timming 7. <laughs> Timming 7, I think. Okay, Johnny's and uh, Shannon's relationship. John, Johnny's and Shannon's relationship, like the whole book, they were talking like they didn't know each other. Like they know nothing about each other. Yes, Shannon didn't open up about her bullying till the end like very explosively she, she didn't tell him like what happened um she didn't tell him about uh her father but still i think they knew each other like well and the whole book the whole book till the end they were talking like they didn't they were like saying I still don't know this girl. I still don't know this guy. But I'm so in love with him. And that first kiss, it was... Um, like, he didn't kiss her back. I think I talked about it. Um, but I don't know if it was like very necessary to say that he didn't kiss her back. Because I think it just... The writer just wanted to make the story longer by doing that. I understand that... Johnny did it because he was in shock and that Shannon uh, is two years younger than him. She's 16. Well, well, right now she's 16 and he is 17, but in like a month he will be 18. Oh, and I wanted to know, do um, people in Ireland call football soccer? Like the European football soccer? Do they really call it soccer? And do... Uh, people, people from Ireland measure everything in inches. I thought they were like um, people from England. They um, not like they were <laughs> people from England. Like not the same thing. But I thought they were 
measuring in centimeters too. Mm, but in this book they were measure measuring in inches, so that's all I have to say about this book. That's all I have to say. I I don't really have to say anything about more about it. I love Lizzie too. Lizzie was a fun character, but she should break up with what is his name? Pierce or I don't know. She just doesn't care about him and I think he deserves better because he's a nice guy like from, from everything that I've consumed of his presence he looks like uh, he seems like a nice guy but at the same time I remember Lizzie saying that uh when they had their first time after it happened he ghosted her so red flag <laughs> red flag <laughs> That's all I have to say. And she said he wasn't good. So, but but Pierce, I just don't care about them. Uh, I think, um, as as I heard that Lizzie will uh, um, cheat on you, just like uh, not you, just I don't know his name. Maybe his name is huge, huge. I don't know. Uh, but Claire's brother will cheat with her on his girlfriend, Katie. So Claire's brother uh, with Lizzie will cheat on his girlfriend. But truly, I don't care. I will accept this cheating because I want them to end up together, you know? And I think, I think there will be like happening multiple cheatings. Because from what I consumed of Katie. Katie was a nice girl. She was a nice girl. I, I would I will feel sorry for her for the cheating. I will like I will feel sorry for her. But at the same time I think that I maybe they shouldn't do they shouldn't have done the cheating trope. But I think they will end up together. Still, they will they will end up together. I don't think the cheating trope was necessary because I, I still haven't read it, but I think they will end up together. And I see that as a good thing. I don't approve of cheating. Like, no, 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 no. Every cheat, I just hate cheating trope. That's why I don't like every summer after. That's why I don't like it. I loved it till that point. Um, so that's it about this book. I hope you liked my reading vlog. It took too long to film it, but still, I hope you liked it. I hope... I don't know what I hope. I hope you have a good day, good evening, good night. Um, if you want to check out my social medias, and if you want to check out, uh, down below I have left my song of the day. Like, the song of the day that I posted the video. So if you want to check it out, you can. Um, so that's it. You can comment something like book recommendations, questions, I will answer them. Okay, so thank you for watching. Hopefully you, got, you have a good day, a good night, and a good evening. And bye-bye.